Today we're going to be looking at the new Butterick early spring pattern release that just happened a little bit ago, but we're going to be doing this a little differently this time around. Yes, we are going to be rating all of these patterns on their website. So here is the rating system. It is going to be A for absolutely amazing, need to have this right now, I want to wear this. And then there's going to be B for, eh, it's boring, but I guess it's okay. C is for, uh-uh, this is going to be a cancel at checkout. It's one of those items where you add it to your cart and you're like, okay, you know, like, let me just toss this in there. But then when you actually get to waiting in the line, you think, eh, I don't need this after all. And you kind of like take it back out and, you know, toss it out to the side. That's what C is, cancel at checkout. D is going to be disaster zone. Let's avoid this one. And then E is gonna be extremely ugly. Now, let me just say that all of these ratings are my personal opinions and you might have a different opinion. And if you do, take it down to the comments and let me know. I always wanna know what you're thinking as well. In fact, in the last review that I did for the pattern releases, you all came for me for liking that blue parachute, blueberry looking skirt. <laughs> and I know, I know it was ugly, but I can't help it. I liked it. So let's just jump right into these patterns and start rating them. And then we'll do an overall review at the end. Okay, so we're at simplicity.com and let's check out this one. I have a feeling that this pattern, which is Butterick 6987, is gonna be a good fit for Project Dress a Girl 2024. And oh, isn't it a cutie? Look at that back, you all. It has a wrap back. Those pockets in the front have little bows on them. Super cute with that trim, the contrasting trim. I like the gathers around the waist. This is a really adorable pattern and it pulls over the head. So it hits all of the different points. Love it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to add this to my list. This is an A, absolutely amazing. Can't get enough of it. All right, let's check it out. Butterick 6986. And this looks like, is it a wrap dress? I mean, that belt bow thing in the front makes me think it is. Looks like, it, does it have pockets or is that the front wrap? Uh, okay, I'm having a real hard time reading what this is other than authentic. So let's check out some of these views. This isn't helping much. Um, it looks like it's not a wrap dress. I like the fabric they used. I actually like the styling on these two. This one, I think that's a pocket. Okay, so this dress maybe has, or skirt maybe has pockets. Let's check out the next view. Ah, oh, <laughs> there's the wrap. The wrap is in the back, you all. This is, okay, this is an interesting concept. Um, what if you're like sliding into a car and that opens up? I mean, is your butt going to be on the hot leather seat? And it's just that wrap. How do you keep this perfectly aligned? I mean, it's cute. I kind of like it. Let's look at this drawing. Uh, let's look at the bigger one. Okay, it does have the two pockets in the front. It wraps all the way around. It looks like the one side goes through the hole. Overall, I'm going to give this one a meh. It's okay. I mean, there's something that's kind of interesting about it, but B, definitely meh. If, you, if it's your thing, go for it. Next up, we have Butterick 6985. This looks like one of those easy to wear wrap dresses that you just throw on over your head. Um, it's also a 1970s pattern. Ah, I hate this bias trim that they use. It's like that store bought, super stiff stuff. I just don't like it. I think it cheapens the entire look. I wish they had used some more flexible, nicer bias tape, but they didn't and it's killing it for me. Okay, here's that view again. You all, <laughs> okay. I don't recommend this dress for kids who have toddlers that are walking around because if you know anything, you know they like to grab these little ties on bows. 
And the last thing you need is to be out in public. Your kid grabs one of these and then it just like completely opens up and you're stuck there with an awkward smile on your face. Maybe a look of shock. Nothing to write home about the back. Yeah, you know, honestly, I'm thinking, see, they can keep it. Butterick 6984. Eh, okay, here we go. There's a, it's a button-up shirt, you all. It, that's what it is. It's got some fun little rounded pockets on the front, two of them. Short sleeves, yeah. I mean, eh, look, shorts are cute, I suppose. Um, yeah, I mean, it's long sleeve version here. It's a nice shirt, sure, if that's what you're looking for. But here's something interesting. What's going on with his pants? Those look kind of, is that a wrap front at the zip? Um, no, this one looks pretty regular. Let's look at the drawings. All right, there's a shirt. We've all seen this before. Forward shoulder. Okay, that's fine. Let's look at the pants, though. The pants, I think, is where it's going to be at. Wait, 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 wait. It's just a pleated pant. It, it, there's nothing special going. I don't know what was going on with the model. But, uh, yeah, no. You know what? I feel like I've been duped. They can keep it. This is a C. Keep it. Next. Man, I feel disappointed. Okay, Butterick 6983. Ah, this is a cute one. Let's take a closer look at this dress. All right. I like the tears. It has pockets. It looks like it has a button placket on the bodice. I can't tell if those are... Yeah, I just can't tell. Is that a, is, is that a pocket or a dart? It looks like a really bad dart. It is. Oh, my gosh. They gave her the pointiest boobs with those darts. I'm so disappointed in them. I do like the trim on the front, though, and that neckline. That is super cute. Flutter sleeves. Uh, I, mean, I mean, that's super cute. Those darts, though. You are. I show you how to make some perfect darts. I'm going to, you know what, I'm going to leave it in the description box so you guys can find it so your boobs never look like that. Gathered, gathered tears. Yeah, the button placket comes down. I, look, overall, I think this is a really cute, adorable dress. I really do. I even like it sleeveless. I like it. It's, and it, you know, honestly, I think it's that neckline and the trim for me. And it's like, it's not... Over the top, I feel like this could be a nice everyday dress. Oh, look at that back neckline, too. Yes, I'm giving this an A. Amazing. I need this. I want to wear it. Give it to me now. Next. All right, we have Butterick 6982. Ah, a tunic and jeans. Tunic and pants. Okay, I actually think that I'm really liking this look right here. Look at this top with that volume and the sleeve. And look, it's a raglan. That's something you don't see every day. I really like that neckline. Oh, man. And look at how high that collar stands. You're going to definitely want some good interfacing for that. But whew, it looks good. And this looks like it would be just super easy to wear, you all. Oh my gosh, look at the shorter sleeve version too. Absolutely love it. Love the gathers that go into that neckline. You all, I mean, the pants are nice too. I like the pant. I like this entire look. Okay, yeah, it looks like it is a jean style pant. and looks like they put that little um, button tab in the front. Yep, cute, cute, cute seam lines. I am liking this. Definitely. Look at the little button in the back. Yes, you are. The spring, winter, I, I want to wear it all year round. Amazing. Need it. Want to wear it right now. Give it to me. Butterick 8681. Okay. Um, okay, this looks like it might have an interesting back. Let's take a look. 
I'm sorry, this is Butterick 6981. Okay, we've got some fun color blocking going here. Um, I do like this back with that little peplum kind of out for those ladies who don't like to show off their magnificent booties. Hang on, we need to zoom in here. What's going on with this? Okay, super big arm sigh. You are this collar. What the heck is going on with it? Did they just like stretch the heck out of, out of it when they were sewing it? I mean, the rest looks, I like the tears at the bottom. The rest looks like it's been impeccably made. And then you get to that collar and you're like, for real? This one looks better. This one's laying much more nicely. I do like how it's color blocked. Yeah, see, this collar looks fine. The shorter sleeves look good. I, you know, honestly, I would probably shorten them a bit more. Yeah, and then look at this. You all, couldn't they finish this? Can you surge the seams on the inside? Is that surged? I mean, like, make it look a little nice. <laughs> ah, they're killing me with the construction. All right, let's move on. Okay, here's that paisley fabric. Yeah. Look at the line drawings. Oh, this is fun. Look at how much volume that back has when it's laying down. And the front, I guess, too, right? It's like a little trapeze style top. I think this is really cute. I'm gonna give it a B. It's it's okay, it's okay. I, I won't be buying this pattern, but I think this would look super cute on lots of people. So yeah, this is gonna get a B, it's okay. Okay, let's go check out what they have in the world of breastfeeding options here. The mumsiness of this stuff. All right, we've got Butterick 6980. It's um, asymmetric. It's got, you know, kind of that weird pointy hemline in the front. I actually like the bigger size compared to the smaller one. Those buttons on the pink are just kind of throwing me off. Man, I like, it just kind of feels like you're wearing the tablecloth, right? Like, excuse me, let me wipe my mouth a little bit and grab that hem and like dab your mouth. I'm not a fan. Um, although, you know, I think it would be cute with a straighter hemline and that would be easy to do. You know, it's got a collar. Uh, it, it's, you all, I don't even know. Uh, let's see. Let's look at some line drawings here. It has pleats at the shoulder, pleats in the bag. Uh, you all, I'm going to give this a C. They can keep it. I don't I don't want to wear it. I don't I don't want to see people wearing it. Not as it is. All right, next up. Okay, a Mrs. Jacket here. We have Butterick 6979. No collar. It looks like it has some I don't know, is that a Yeah, that's a princess seam in the front. Um it looks like it has a covered button placket maybe. It does have pockets. Oh, that's an interesting sleeve. You see that? How it kind of just like folds over? Yeah, that's that's an interesting detail. I, I could see someone rocking that for, I don't know. I just, look, it's a collarless look, which I'm not a fan of. The sleeve length is kind of weird. And the overall length of that long one, mm -mm. I do like the shorter version. Oh, and it looks like her sleeves are longer. <sighs> It's, they can keep it, you all. I mean, we're going to take a look at the line drawings, but I'm already telling you, I'm giving this a C. They can keep it. All right, here we go. Princess sleeves, princess seams in the front and back pockets. I mean, like I said, they, eh, keep it. I've seen better. Okay, Butterick 6978. Looks like we got some Mother of the Bride looks here. Hello, Mama. Come walking down that aisle. Okay, so they made this up in like a silky, satiny finish. It's okay. Um, it's a cape. It's uh, got a high neckline. Um, raglan sleeves. It's, um, it's all right. 
I mean, look, you all, this looks like kind of um, matronly. Um, I, if, if I were mother of the bride, I, I would want to be looking a little more snazzy. Although, you know what? I could see this made up in a really beautiful cotton, like an Ankara or like something with like a bold fabric. Because I think the fabric would really make this cape stand out. Maybe it's just like this like icy, cool pastel thing that's happening. I do like that they give you like the entire outfit though. The pants need pockets. What are they thinking? I don't care if the cape has and I want them in my pants too. This one gets a B. Meh. It's okay. It's got potential. I don't know how much. All right, let's take a look at Butterick 6977 here. It looks like... Oh, they, oh, hang on. Okay, so this is a button down, but it's a drop waist. But look, it goes like really low. I think this is super cute. And actually, I like the version that's not belted. And the belted one is cute too, though. Look at the gathered tears. We've all seen that. We've all seen the button down shirt dress. Um, this one looks like it has maybe um, puffy balloon type of sleeves. For the shorter version, it's okay. But I think what really makes this is that drop waist, which you miss if it's belted. Because then it just looks like every other tier dress. But here, I mommy. That is nice. I could see this made up in a beautiful cotton, definitely. I, I could even see this made up in a nice linen. Ooh, yeah. Okay, we've got the gathers in the back. I feel like th we've all seen Simplicity McCall's put out wrap dress, or not wrap dresses, shirt dresses like that. Yup. In my view, this is a winner. Amazing. Yeah, I like it. I, I need it. I don't know if it's going to look good on me, but I like it. A. Hey. Next up, we have Pajamas. This is Butterick 6976. Wait, are these pajamas? <gasps> They're not supposed to be pajamas. What the freak nasty is going on here? Okay, I, th I think this like whole uh, swirly blue fabric just kind of threw me off. Um, it looks like a hospital gown. Gone wrong. Don't like it. You got that tie on the side. Looks like it's got some darts. Ugh, and this hideous fabric. I don't know who's wearing that. That is gross. All right. Um, yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next view here. Man, even this drawing doesn't look like she wants to be wearing this dress. She's just standing there like, man. And then she looks like she just got out the shower. She's about to do her hair. She's going to blow dry that hair up. Okay, she, I mean, this this drawing looks nice. Yeah. Nah, man, you know what? I'm gonna... I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. You know, uh, this is supposed to be loungewear. I'm gonna give this a really... What were you thinking? Don't want it. I don't want to see people out in this either. I just don't. Your little, like, elastic waist pants that have no pockets. Ugh. I'm disappointed in you. Butterick 6975, it looks like we've got like an entire outfit here, which is always super handy. And they actually look like they're wearable pieces. Let's take a closer look at this one. Okay, we've got the view of all of the different pieces. You got pants, top, another top, and a dress. Okay. No, come on, make it big. Oh, there is no big. That's it. This is the only view we get. Are you serious? Okay. I like the cut of these pants. Um, I hope there's pockets. I think it's a great shape. Um, pleats are kind of out at the moment in your pants, but I, I mean, I still don't mind them. Basic shift dress. Um, a simple jacket to go over the top with some pockets. Looks like a t-shirt with a really wide collar. I don't know. I kind of like that t-shirt. I mean, this is, this pattern's okay. I like, I do like the different options here. I don't know if I would wear that jacket, but 
I mean, everything else looks really nice. I wonder if this is for knits. It's, I, th I think this is a cute, I think it's a cute pattern. It's, I mean, it's, it's okay, you all. No, no line drawings. We're going to give this a meh. It's okay. B. <sighs> Welcome to Mumsy land, you all. Okay, so we have Butterick 6974. It's another button down shirt dress. Um, and it has fisheye darts. Yep, it's got some fisheye darts, a camp collar. Hmm. Weird length sleeves here. Weird length. You know, I think the arm side might be too big on this too. Look at all that fabric that's gathering there at the armpit. Line drawing here is cute. I, I like the hat. Let, let's let's wear that trilby, shall we? Mm -mm. Oh, definitely not. Why can't they even make this fit the model? Are you serious? Her shoes are nice. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they could have fitted this way better on her. Look, it's like practically falling off her shoulders. They're going to get a D, really? You're going to put a model in that? And then you're not going to give me any line drawings? Come on, Palmer Plush. I am so disappointed in you. D, what are you thinking? Butterick 6973. And it looks like Palmer Plush is really enjoying that blue fabric. I don't know. It's okay, I suppose. Look, we've got another pair of pleated pants, wide leg. I like the culotte version. Do they still call them culottes or they pedal pushers? I, you know, I don't know the difference. I like that version a little better. But you know what? Again, I've seen this 50 million times. 50 million different pattern makers have some version of this, and I've seen better. So I'm going to say, see, keep it. It's okay if you don't have it and this is your salad pan. Okay, go ahead and get it. But I'm telling you, I have seen better. But hang on. Why they got to do the model like that? Why? Why you got to do that? Why, why you got to do that? Look, okay, first off, we're not even talking about the fit here. Let's talk about these ugly darts that, they sew, that they've sewn in. Or maybe that's a shirt underneath because this is some like thinner fabric, but... Man, you did her dirty. There's the line drawings. I'm done with this one. They can keep it. Okay, I think that might be the end of it. <sighs> Thank goodness, man. These looks. I mean, there were a couple winners in here, but not many. Ugh, let's review. Let's review all of these lined up. Woo! There were definitely some looks in there. And not all of them were good. And you know what? I actually kind of feel bad for some of these models. Why are they going to do them so dirty like that? Not cool. So let's pull up this rating chart and take a look where all of these patterns fell. So coming in at A, absolutely amazing. We have Butterick 6983, Butterick 6982, and Butterick 6977. And I felt like all of those looks were pretty darn cute. One of them was a little on the basic side, but you know what? I think with the right fabrics, the right mix of trims, that beautiful neckline, give it to me. For B, the boring but okay ones, we have Butterick 6986, 6981, 6978, and 6975. And then there's a C, cancel at checkout, and this is where I feel like the majority of them fell. So we have Butterick 6985, 6984, 6980, 6979, and 6973. And then for the disaster zone, which is D, we have Butterick 6976 and Butterick 6974. Thankfully, there wasn't anything that was extremely ugly in the E category here, but you know what? This is only the early spring pattern release. They still have time to surprise us. On both sides, right? On really amazing stuff and scary stuff. If you missed my last pattern review, definitely check out this video right over here. And you'll see that ugly pattern that everybody was like, Maddie, I can't believe you like that. <laughs> it just 
check it out right over there and I'll see you there.